I am so happy to see you. Welcome back. What do you say we get into the meshes? The mesh fixes. All right, let's create the separator. I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna copy that. Go to a tiny wrench and spanner, mon organizer two. Create separator. Right click and paste. Okay. Now we're gonna get into Dindalot Modder's Resource Fixes. Adds various missing normal maps used by trees from Modder's Resources. Text gen throws errors for models using a normal map, which you cannot find. This adds those missing normals to let Dindalot do its magic. Main file, all in one. All in one. All right. Now let's install it. Very cool. Looks like I never downloaded this before. An official material fix. This mod aims to fix countless material bugs in the vanilla game. Gotta fix those bugs. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> An official material fix. That's the very first one made file. Damn. It's funny, it's like a quarter of all the mods we're downloading are fixes. Come on, Bethesda. I loved you, but come on. Let's activate that. Assorted mesh fixes. This mod to fix various issues with vanilla scar meshes that causes them to render incorrectly. That's a full mod. Point, point three zero. Oh, there's only one version anyway. Mod manager download. Download it. And let's get. Oops. All right, let's get the full mod ready. I'm ready. All right, we do not want parallax. And then just install it. We don't need no stinking full mods. Delizio's mesh fixes. This mod corrects mesh and material errors not covered by any other mods. Hmm, cool. I think I. Yeah, it's the first time I'm coming across this mod. I think. I mean, file. Yeah, I've never downloaded this before. Ooh, looking forward to seeing what it does. Interesting. Oh, oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Solstheim object smimed. <laughs> poly dark elf furniture. A Smim style improvement for dark elf furniture models. There's a phone mod, and we want version 0.1.1. File. Mod manager download. And let's install it. Phone mod to your face. Open up the phone mod. Add EMB particle lights. Yes, and install it. Let's close that up. All right, white run mesh fixes. This mod fixes various issues with meshes in white run. Ah, uh, white run. Files, mod manager download. And now let's install it. Kaboom. And don't worry, I'm not gonna end it there. That'll be too short of a video. Let's go to city retextures, what do you say? So let's create that separator. Gonna copy that. Tiny wrench and spanner. Create separator. Paste. Boom. Frankly HD Markarth, the white city redux. This mod retextures the city of Markarth and the Wemmer ruins. There's a full mod version 1.1. Files version 1.1. There's a 2K and 4K. Which one do we want? We want the 4K. But if you have less than 8 gigs of VRAM, I suggest get the 2K. Don't be a hero. And this is going to be a, a good bit. It's over 1 gigs in size, so. Cheerio. Whew, man, oh man, that took forever. Right, let's go ahead and install it. Okay, we got a full mod here. Let's open this up. You wanna choose both of these and then install. Okay. Finally, we're gonna move on to illustrious Whiterun SE. This mod retextures is your Whiterun. We have optional files and update files. Um, Okay, this update file looks like it's an update to this optional file, so... And this looks like an ESL tag ESP. This might be something that we're going to merge all together, even though it doesn't say it, say it to do so. I will take a peekaboo and tell you what to do. Alright, so... Optional file 4K. Here it is right here. That says update. Okay. So first we're going to download the optional files towards the bottom. Look for optional files here. Click on manage uh, my measure download. Download that. Oh no. It's gonna be another long download, guys. 1.8 gigs. At least this downloads a little bit faster than the last one. 
Okay. Let's queue up the other ones. All right, so we're gonna want the uh, 4K update. Go to update files, go to 4K update. Just don't want that. How big is that one? Wow, the update is 500 megabytes, y'all. And finally, the... Oh, unless there's white run, white run banners. So this is probably is gonna be a separate one. That's also an optional file. So here's optional files, keep going. Oh, it's the very last one here. Okay, well, I'm actually done with that. Okay. 4K update's already done. Oh, I'm almost done. Oh, thank God this went so much faster. I feel for you guys, slower, slower internet though. This could very well be the longest part of the guide for you. Okay, so let's install the 4K optional first. And uh, let's rename it because we're not downloading 8K parallax. So let's rename it to Lesser White Run 4K. And let me take a look inside real quick. Okay, it's just textures. I don't see an ESP in here, so okay. Now let's install the update. And I'm gonna keep the name the same. Yeah, just textures. All right, so we wanna merge that into this one. Even though the guy doesn't say to do so, I think we're safe to do that. Okay, merge. And then this ESP. Yeah, we could probably merge it as well, but Eh, better safe than sorry. We're gonna install this as a separate mod. Let's just white run banners, ESL tag ESP. Okay. And that's that. Let's activate those. Thank God that didn't take that long. Wait a minute, what's it say here? Delete the following and our folders. Textures, architecture. Oh, more parallax. Okay. I'm gonna right click on here. I'm gonna open in Explorer. We're gonna go into, that's not the one I wanted to open. Open up a let's just white run 4K. Open in Explorer. Let's go to textures, architecture, white run, and we're gonna look for. Oof. Let me change the view here. That's list. Okay, this is a lot of files to sift through. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go up in the search window here. I'm gonna type in, whoops, not eight, shift eight for star underscore p dot dds, and then I'm gonna hit enter. All right, there's all the parallax stuff that we don't want. So just click the first one, shift click the last one, and then right click and delete. Boom. Even though we said delete and still, we still see this here, it's really gone. If you, per, if you were to press F5 to refresh it, you'll see that they're gone. All right, let's close it out and we're good. I'm gonna clean this up. Cool. All right, Skyland Solitude. Skyland Solitude offers a truly realistic texture overall to the city of Solitude and the Blue Palace along with surrounding areas such as the docks, bridge, and stone structures and gates along with the Dominion Consulate. Let's go ahead and download that. Good stuff, good stuff. Mod Manager download. Ah, <sighs> thank God for fast downloads. Double click to install, okay. Activate that. Skyland Winterhold. See the College of Winterhold like you never have before with Skyland Winterhold. Retextured from the ground up in 2K, 2K textures. Recreated with a blend of traditional and photogrammetry texture techniques that deliver stunning, realistic textures up close and far away. I like it. Sounds good. Sounds fancy. Files. Mod Manager download. All right. And now let's install it. Okay. All right, guys. We just installed two sections here. But I'm gonna install Dungeons and Ruins, or include Dungeons and Ruins in this video as well. Because it's a very short section. And after that it's Clutters and Miscellaneous, and this is a very long one. I don't, I'm still deciding whether or not I'm gonna cut this into two videos or just make one long ass video. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish up this video with Dungeons and Ruins. So let's create the separator. Right click, copy. Wrench and Spanner, create separator. Paste, okay. I'm going to go ahead and collapse these. Okay. Adi's Snow Elf Ruins Retexture Special Edition. This mod is a 2K high quality retexture of snow elf architecture introduced in Dongar DLC. And we're going to download 2K textures. Oop. Files. Mod Manager download. Let's double click. Okay. And now let's activate it. 
Underground Dungeon Texture Overhaul. This mod is an ambitious, ambitious dungeon retexture project which starts with caves and Nordic uh, dungeons. Yeah, these retainers in my mouth is making me slur and I don't like it. So there's a full mod here. So let's download it. Final. Mod uh, Magic Download. And since we got to deal with a full mod, we can't deal with this the way I like to deal with it. <laughs> All right, so this is a one gig download. My speed is pretty good, so it's not gonna take it's not gonna take me too long. Okay, so let's open up this full mod to get ready. Double click. All right, so we want to do custom installation. Next, next. Uh, we want everything here except for Ripton. So click, 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 click. Skip Riften and Apocrypha. Good. And then install. Close that up and let's do some deleting. So let's open an explorer. We're going to go into textures and we're going to delete the architecture folder. And we're going to delete the clutter folder. And if you're wondering why, it's because we don't want this mod to overwrite textures of other certain other mods. Certain textures overwrite anyway. That's why we remove those folders. So let's activate that. Move on to Dormer Pipe Work Reworked. Dormer pipes are supposedly used as ventilation and heating system. Now they really are. Before there were fake exhaust holes drawn on the pipes. Now these holes are real. What? <laughs> reworked meshes to have transparency and made them double-sided. Added animated fans inside, increased metal glossiness. Wow, what will those zany uh, mod authors come up with next? And we're gonna do a little bit of Cathedral Asset Optimizing. We got a main file, two optional files, which means we're gonna install these as separate mods. So let's go and download it. From the files. We wanna download the main file. Come on. And we want optional EMB lights. There it is, optional EMB lights. And what else do we want? When we're public we worked, DLC 02 boiler with darker glow. That's this one right here, the first optional file. Okay, but you know, we're gonna run this through Cathedral Acid Optimizer. So does that mean we should merge all these? I'm gonna make a judgment call and say that we do. Yeah. So I'm gonna merge all this. And if that's the wrong thing to do, <laughs> I will make an updated video. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So let's start with the main file. Do a mirror pipework rework. Okay. The optional EMB file. Leave the name the same. We're gonna merge them. And let's do the pipe work reworked. And I'm gonna merge that. Okay. Let's delete this. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. Okay, so I'm gonna close out mod organizer two. Go into my mod folder. Go into Cathedral Asset Optimizer. Loading up that ex uh, executable. And from here. Uh, the profile we want is downsize textures 2k. Boom. Now I'm going to open the directory. I'm going to click on my mod folder here. Go into mod organizer 2. Go into mods. Now let's find Dwemer pipe work. There it is right there. Clicking on the folder, clicking select folder. I'm clicking on log because I like to see what's going on. And then I'm going to click run. Look at her go. And with that, I'm going to close this out. Close that out. Relaunch Mod Organizer 2. I've already checked that box. And with that, guys, I'm gonna end this video. I'm probably gonna make Clutter and Miscellaneous one long ass video. Yeah. So prepare thy expectations. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.